Well, Hollywood and the U.S. media are in the midst of a struggle over diversity. But it seems the comic book industry may have pulled ahead in the push to include a more international cast of characters. In July, DC Comics will introduce their first ever Chinese Superman. And the man writing this series says it's about time. Patrice Howard reports. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Ken and Kong, the first ever Chinese superhero to fly off the pages of an American comic book. Born in Shanghai, Kong is a 17-year-old bully whose life is turned upside down when he is infused with the original Superman's powers. Jean Luen Yang, the Chinese-American writing the series, says it's about time an Asian character came to the rescue. When I was growing up, it was very rare to see an Asian face on television, to see an Asian face in the comics that I was reading, you know, and, and, uh, and I remember like, I, I just remember um, feeling this lack of identity in the stories that I read. And I'm hoping that New Superman will solve some of that for, for younger Asian and Asian American readers. Here at a seminar on Asian identity in Los Angeles, Yang is speaking about the evolution of Asian characters in American comic books. Look back through history to find many of the most sinister comic villains were drawn with particularly Asian characteristics sometimes with derogatory names like Egg Fu. Yang says those depictions simply reflected the times. He says fresh Asian characters are overdue, but believes the integration of Ken and Kong into the long-beloved Superman franchise will teach readers an important lesson about human values that transcend culture. Superman isn't just a character, he's also an icon. He stands for something. He stands for uh, truth and justice, all, all, these, all these deep values. Um, these values are universal. So, so one thing that we're allowed to do by bringing this idea of Superman into Chinese culture is to see how these universal values play out within a culture other than American culture. Now the move represents an increasing diversification in the industry. Marvel's Hulk, for example, is a Korean American, and Spider-Man is an Afro-Latino man. Some could argue that Hollywood and the American media could take a page from the comic industry and their push for a more inclusive universe. Certain portions of America, and especially pop culture and media, continue to see itself and represents itself as predominantly white. And that's just not reality. You know, superheroes are not just an American thing. It's actually something that, that can really empower and kind of uh, inspire other people from other nationalities or also other ethnicities within, within America. Kong will not be alone in his fight for justice. He'll reportedly be joined by a Justice League of China, a group including a new Batman and new Wonder Woman. For some young comic fans with ties to China, it's a welcome new chapter. My parents aren't from uh, Shanghai, but they're, they're from China. Seeing like what it means to talk about being a superhero coming from that background uh, really intrigues me. Uh, it makes me think more about my own story being an Asian American, and also my parents' story being uh, immigrants to the United States. Ken and Kong's story is just one of many to come in DC Comics' expanding universe, blowing up old racial stereotypes about who can fly up, up, and away. Patrice Howard, CCTV, Los Angeles.